out. And you know, we're talking about high-tech brain analysis when certain questions and things are posed. What is it that motivates people to decide? How do people process information? It's out there. All the ad companies are using it, you know? So critical for us to understand these points. What is the mindset of your new patient? And they, before they call, for example, when they, before they even pick up the phone, when was the last time one of you picked up the phone to schedule an appointment for anything? Health related, let's say. A new, perhaps a new dentist. Or you're going to see a, a physician for some reason. Wasn't there a little bit of angst? What if you were in a lot of pain and you're looking for a solution? So try to put yourself in the mind of the patient, you know? In fact, I will tell you that I've, I've had a number of clients do this, where I say, well, you know, they'll complain, for instance, about, you know, oh, these patients, you know, they're, they uh, missed appointment percentage is high, or, you know, this or that. I say, well, you know, you gotta maybe identify a little bit more with the people that you're dealing with. So go schedule with a doctor that delivers a similar type of care or the kind of care that you would offer someone. Schedule and become a new patient. Oh, I get adjusted. That's not what I said. Schedule, call, schedule, get in the book, go in through a re report of findings, okay? Decide on what you wanna do, find out where you are. If you're, in, if you're a structural rehabilitation practice, CVP doctor, Pettibon doctor, great. Go to a Pettibon doctor. If you're an upper cervical doctor, go through the same level of analysis and decision making and try to become a patient again, okay? And then modify your schedule. Get the kind of care that you're expecting your patients to get. It'll help you to keep 